Hey there, it's Dr. Kimisa. Welcome back to our video series. And today we're back in the lab here and we got a couple more syringes. Today we're talking about it, uh, PRP, more advanced PRP, more concentrated PRP. So stay tuned, I got a lot to share. If you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications. I got lots to share with this. All right, so today we're talking again about PRP, and I'm going to put a link down below. I did another video on the PRP basics, so who's a candidate, what's inside the blood, how do we get that process, and we were talking about, you know, doing from drawing this much blood and getting that much concentrate, which is 7x factor, so I'm going to put a link of that below, and so, but now I'm going to talk a little bit about more what we're doing by adding another tube and creating even a more powerful product. We get asked questions about PRP. Oh, that's new, I haven't heard of PRP. So, if you look in the research, the first time PRP was mentioned was 1954. That was a long time ago. A lot of things have changed since then. And how we process has changed dramatically since then. I think we're on our fourth processing system. And that's only been in uh, less than 10 years. So, you know, if you ever went to go give blood, you know, they, they draw the blood and they, they put them right into those tubes, right? The initial way they used to process PRP was actually in those tubes. Well, guess what? Well, now they realize, and right on the packaging it says, if you use these tubes, they're for laboratory purposes only, because they have endotoxins in them, it says it's not for reinjection into humans. Right? It says right on there. Well, there's probably still clinics out there still using that system. So technology has changed dramatically, absolutely dramatically. And so you want to investigate. When you are looking or calling for PRP, you want to find out, okay, what are they doing? How are they concentrating their system? Are they still doing something that's 20 or 30 years old in technology? Or is it the latest and greatest? Because that's what we have, the latest and greatest. And why do we want the latest and greatest? Because we want to put as much concentrate into you as possible. So let's look at this. We talked about this in the previous video, link down below, but we draw 60 cc's of product, we can inject 7 cc's. There's only so much room in your joint. There's only so much room. So depending on how chronic it is, depending on how severe the injury is, depending on how much healing power we need, well, sometimes if it's not too bad, we can get away with just doing seven times, seven times the growth factors that are circulating. But there are times when we need to up the ante. We, there are times when we need to go double. We need to go double and putting it back into, so we're gonna draw 120 cc's of product putting it into seven. And what that's gonna give us is somewhere between 13 and 14 times the circulating value of platelets and growth factors. Because let's not forget, there's only so much room in a joint. You want it to be the super duper. Well, there's a good word for you, super duper. Uh, we, we, we want it to be the super duper cellular matrix we don't want any filler. We don't want any stuff that's taking up valuable real estate inside that joint. You want as much powerful healing factors as you can do. In this new world, they call it orthobiologics because there's so many different names for PRP. But bottom line is you're trying to take blood and you're trying to concentrate the cells and get those cells to be as active as possible. And so... Some of the research is pretty fascinating of how different concentrations, there's a picture of that in the, in the previous video that we did of the system we use with M-Site. But bottom line is you're trying to put as much horsepower, as much cellular power 
into that injection as possible. So we can concentrate the blood, we can even concentrate the, the plasma to extract even more water so that we give you the highest concentration of PRP possible. We keep pushing the envelope, we keep pushing, investigating what's the latest technology, what's the latest research, what's the latest numbers of cellular activity given a dosage. We're all about the numbers. We want the best there is because you're looking for the best and we want to be able to provide that. So I just want to say that, you know, having this be our fourth processing system, and if you know our clinic, we always have the latest, the most advanced technology that's available today. We're trying to put your cells back into you with the highest outcome possible. You're expecting a great outcome. We want to provide you with that great outcome. We want to get you back into the game of life. We're empowering you to live your best day every day. And in order for us to continue to do that, we have to stay on top of our game, continue to look at research, continue to look at different products, continue to look at all the data that shows, yeah, continue to concentrate and you get a better product. That's what we're about, is improving our product so we can get a better outcome for you. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, turn on your notifications, but until next time, thanks for supporting our channel and have a very blessed day.